if you consider that all life forms are interdependently active and engaged upon the same mission, and that all of these forms are acting in mutual support of the same mission. You begin to understand the human organism, and you begin to understand why man acts as he does. The second he begins to fall away from this concept of his brotherhood with all of life, with his affinity and the desirability of the physical universe, a man starts to get sick. One individual man, he starts to get sick in the head. His efficiency goes down. When he's young, he dreams dreams, big, vast dreams about what he's going to do in the world. They say the world is the young man's oyster. If you don't like oysters, it's at least his clam. But he's there, very bound and determined that he is going to do something about it. And then what happens? Somehow or other, his drive, urge in this direction becomes blended. But is that all that happens to him? And now we go right straight into evaluation. Is that all that happens to him? Does he just lose a few dreams? Or is this part of a lot of things he loses? A man ceases to postulate desirable futures, in other words, ceases to dream in direct ratio that the physical universe has proven itself antipathetic toward him and that other life forms have proven themselves antipathetic toward him. In other words, he ceases to dream and postulate large, vast, desirable survival goals just in the ratio that he begins to drop away from the purest purpose of life. He starts to single himself off into an individuality. He begins to fall back. The second he does that, and the further he goes, actually the more and more dangerous he is to other life forms. He becomes dangerous to those life forms because he is not in full cooperation with them. That has individualized to a point, you might say, I'm using that word individualized, he is actually withdrawn to himself uh, so that he's detached himself from the main regiment. He's become Johnny out of step and he is not going to be able to do as much to the physical universe as before those vast dreams were burst. Now, with Dianetics, you can straighten out and realign this person. You don't even have to go in on the case and tell the fellow, no. But what you're trying to do is conquer the physical universe. Now, you better line yourself up with the rest of the life forms around you, and you better tackle this thing, or you'll know the reason why you don't do that. You just start knocking out all the physical pain that he has suffered in former attacks on the physical universe and from other organisms. You just knock this stuff out, and he'll come back up more or less automatically into alignment with his purpose and he'll keep on going.